When we first got here, this 1890s shingle style was in need of some serious restoration. The doors were broken, railings rotten, and the carpet was loud. Eight months later, we're ready to turn this Cape Ann Classic back over to the homeowners. What happened to all this plumbing here? I've never seen anything like this before. There's already rot going on in that trunk. So what have you found up here? Well, a bit of a surprise. It's really the classic plumber's lament. Nice. It's five bathrooms, it's a kitchen, it's a full new mechanical. It's, it's going to be a big one. Sounds like you guys have a plan. I think we do. <laughs> Money's in the detail. That is beautiful. Hey there, I'm Kevin O'Connor and welcome back to this old house where it is a special day for us up here on Cape Ann, Massachusetts. After a substantial restoration to our 1890s shingle style home, it's time to turn it back to our homeowners. Now this is a beautiful part of the country, so much so that we actually arrived by boat eight months ago when this yes. project started. And that was a nice trip along the coast. It was a little warmer that day. Yeah, it was a little <laughs> warmer, but I love the granite as it comes out of the water and the big houses that sit on top. Yeah. 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 Now, the shingle style was actually made famous up here in Cape Ann, and this was the classic big shingle style. They modified it through the years, but thankfully, the architect and the homeowners brought it back to this. Just magnificent. Beautiful. It's amazing, and this whole property is just such a natural setting. The homeowners are into the great outdoors, and I think we did a great job integrating the ledge. It unified the whole the piece. The big rock. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, let's have a closer look. All right, All we'll right. catch you guys. Tommy, what about this new staircase, huh? How about a way to enter the house? I mean... Mark McCullough did a beautiful job with his guys with these granite stones, curved it right in. I mean, absolutely beautiful job. And a perfect complement to the stone is the brass handrail custom made for us. This yep. thing is gorgeous. Sure is. And how about the front door, Tommy? Yeah. Completely reconditioned. It looks beautiful. Mark did a beautiful job, not only on the door, but he restored the original hardware, too. Right. Let's have a look. Hey, John. Oh, hey. 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 Hi, Carolyn. Well, you guys must be excited. We are thrilled. We are thrilled. Yeah. The place looks out. amazing. Better than we ever expected. Well, that's a good sign. <laughs> well, it's been eight, nine long months, a lot of work. Are you guys happy? Any regrets? Uh, absolutely no regrets from me. No. And no. it's been really fun. It's been a really fun process. Yeah, it has been an awesome process. Uh, great people. Uh, everything's been on time. Yeah. Just amazing. Bunch of good guys. Yeah. Yeah. Great people, yeah. 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 Well, what do you say we have a closer look? Yeah, John, yeah. I'd like to see the second floor. Second third floor? floor? Okay, sounds great. Caroline, you want to show Tom the second floor? <laughs> yeah. yeah. There there you go. Go. Let's go. <laughs> Molly, let's start down okay. here. And let's start with the entryway, right? Uh, and with the beautiful windows you decided to save. Yes, yeah, so this was a no-brainer for us to save these windows. We love them. We feel like they're really in keeping with the character of the home. Leaded glass. We had a talented artisan, Catherine, make some repairs for us, both on the glass and the lead. Nice, Brand although new. they are single pane, so not great for efficiency. Correct, however, you probably don't even notice, we have these nice interior storm windows, um, which you can't even see. They blend right into the Excellent. frame of the window. We just got this compression gasket that fits right in there. That's great. Mm-hmm. All right, so there was a fireplace here. It's been reconditioned. Yep. You guys converted it to gas. We did, we kept the fireplace. We also knew we wanted wallpaper in the entryway, so we added wallpaper and we added the pilasters for a nice place for it to stop. Yeah. And the big change in the house, which you'll notice, is that we moved the entrance to the back of the home. So it used to be right here. Um, we moved the entrance more to the center and now you can see straight back to the home and you can see the beautiful trees um, and the light and we would love to I remember Tommy and I cutting through the old plaster and lath dropping the new door and then reframe that's a good that's decision amazing. right there thank you center staircase the shag carpet's gone I know unfortunately <laughs> that had to go and a couple of these balusters were loose and actually broken um, so our friend Wayne Toll and Norm repaired them brought them back in New coat of paint there. Are you happy with that decision? Very happy. They look brand new. We also kept um, the same original handrails, mm -hmm. and we had those restained, and we also had some faux painting done so that the wood on the treads would match the wood on the bottom of the Cool. Another thing we saved were the pocket doors. Tommy yes. actually dug into the wall and went above it to find the hardware. It wasn't mm -hmm. functioning properly. Uh, he took it out with his magic touch, reconditioned it, and now these doors are back in service. They are, and now if we ever want to, we can close off the living room from the foyer. But why would you ever want to close off this room? Shelby, Beautiful. very nice job on your part. A lot of hard work. Thank you Thank for that. Thank you. Yes, it's been a pleasure. You had a very clear design intent for this house. 
We did. So this is a classic shingle style home, but we wanted to modernize it a bit. All right, but not lose all the classical details. Correct. So in this room specifically, we still have a traditional element like the coffered ceiling, mm -hmm. but it's a little bit more modernized in the sleek cove. Yep, so molding. you guys added this. Um, and we can see that cove right there. Correct. Something you picked up on the mantle as well. Exactly. So this used to be an ornate, more federal style mantle. Um, so we sleeked it up a bit. Cove right there and uh, a new stone surround. A beautiful stone surround and with a lovely it texture. From real wood to gas. To gas, yeah. which is a lot easier than. <laughs> and Shelby actually designed this mantle. Nice. I know. Right. <laughs> and on either side of the fireplace, there were bookcases originally. There um, were. We weren't sure what to do. It, we weren't sure what to do. And behind this bookcase on this side, there was actually a door. And we went back and forth as to whether or not we should keep that door. We decided to keep it closed off. Okay, closed off there, but yes. opened up over here, which is the big change in this room. This is the big change. There used to be a little window here that um, you could look out on to the three season porch with the bright green carpet. Crazy. <laughs> We decided to change it up and we decided to make this more livable space and this has now become our dining room. And it is quite a room. We have not seen a room like this in a while. Hey, Jeff. Kevin. Ah, hey, Molly. Hi, hey, how are Shelby. you? Good to see you. How are you guys? Good. Nice job on the table. Thank you for the custom build. Yeah, stately room deserves a stately table, Unbelievable, right? Unbelievable, right? Exactly. Shelby, your design or your idea? Yes, so we have these beautiful C-shaped legs, which is a classic design, but we kind of made it a little more modern yeah. with this beveled back, which is super thick edge, by the way. Well, she thought it up. I had to figure out how to build it. <laughs> so you, Peter Riley, down at the shop yep. just went after it, huh? Yep. Yeah, one of the bigger challenges was making a C-shaped leg, and uh, we did that by laminating. There's 30 pieces of uh, walnut in there. And 30? We, yeah. Wow. We used epoxy, you know, glue them all up, and then we basically had to create a jig and, and a winch to uh, bend that all the way around to make that C-shape. and. Uh, yeah, it worked out well. But the top too, I mean, how many pieces, how long is that? <laughs> yeah, it's uh, just a little over 12 feet and um, about four and a half feet wide. And you know, again, it's, it's, it's walnut, black walnut harvested in Missouri. So this thing is really heavy. It's like 400 to 450 pounds. I mean, it took a lot of us to move it. It took a lot just getting it in the trailer and getting <laughs> out of the trailer. So Molly, what do you think? Uh, do you approve, you're gonna use it? <laughs> Yes, so John and I have grand visions of entertaining a lot. Um, this table will let us do that. This room, the table has just come out so much better than we ever thought. And now understanding the craftsmanship and the thought <laughs> and the labor um, and all the layers of wood in those legs, it just makes us appreciate it even more. Yeah. And Shelby, so sized perfectly to fit underneath this center tray right here with the Venetian plaster. Beautiful Venetian plaster by our friend Maurizio. Straight from Italy, had a little help from an Irishman. Not much, no, I mean, it really is amazing. I mean, it is such a fantastic look, so unique. Between this beautiful table, the ceiling, the windows, this room just says drama. Drama, I think that is the word. It's a good one. Nice job, everybody. <laughs> Hey, Jen. Morning. So you successfully tamed the wild side of the house. It needed taming because it was not touched for years. Do you remember what it used to look like? I do. It clearly had gotten away from the previous homeowner. They sort of let it go. But this is fantastic. With a football game, maybe soccer for the kids. I mean, big space, flat. Do you remember how it just used to slope off? Oh, just yeah. hit down here. So we had Fred and his guys bring in all these boulders, and they really did a great job creating this natural wall. And the birch tree, great that we could save this. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad it's safe, but do you remember how the garage used to come all the way out and this was at the corner? I mean, it was almost right to here. Right, and then on top of the garage, that crazy porch that was going on. <laughs> yep. So this whole area is gonna be, when it's ready for planting, it's gonna be a great place to just have nice, simple shrubs, keep it clean, low maintenance and natural. So we have all this beautiful ledge on the property, but what we needed to do in this area is gain four feet to get this garage in. So we had to bring in a big hydraulic hammer to chip away at this ledge, and it took days and days to do this. The new way they'll enter the house, pretty much, right? This is the whole new grand entrance. We poured a retaining wall on the side to catch the grade and make this a big level space. And then over here, as a transition between the woodlands and this new area, uh, we put in hydrangeas. This is a understory tree, a pink dogwood. Okay. And then traveling over here, we have andromeda and rhododendrons. Love and the color, ever, yeah, the evergreen. It's, it holds the color really nice. Yep. And they really want to do swaths of plantings, not one here, one there, to make more of an impact. 
So coming back down to this retaining wall, uh, next time when it's planting season, they're gonna start to have plants cascade over the edge just to hide this ugly wall. Yeah, I got it, I like that idea. Yeah. Tom, I don't know if you remember the third floor, but one of the... I remember it well, yes. <laughs> remember the red carpet that was yeah, here? Yeah, that's the one you tried to give me? That's right. It could have been, sport. It could have been yours. Yeah, but you, now you have this beautiful white oak floor. Uh, it's gorgeous. And here's another gorgeous spot, yeah, right? Yeah, it looks great now, but it had the metal tub here, a sink, and a toilet there. Right. What a difference. Nice and clean now, right? And a uh, great uh, guest room here. We open up the window, brings difference. in a lot of natural light. Yeah. Now this ceiling height right here in the hall traveled right into this space. That's, that's right. That's taken out and look at it now. It's amazing, right? It was an eight foot ceiling. And once you guys had done all of that demo work, Molly saw the potential sure. of opening it up. Yeah, she yeah. could see through the structural framing of it. But it was a big job. I and mean, we had to put a temporary bearing wall right here to carry this side of the roof. And another bearing wall right here to carry this side of the roof. Then we had to cut the whole center of the roof right out. A new beam slid in from outside supported in this wall and into that wall also. Wow, what an engineering project. Yeah, but it was worth it. Oh, totally, amazing. Yeah, and what do you think of this? Maddie, our car Finnish carpenter, built this? This is adorable, yeah, Maddie is amazing, and Caroline is gonna love this. Oh, yeah. uh, as a three and a half year old, this is dress up time all the time they for her, she'll love it. Up. Yeah, and Molly and Mara did this paint job, it's a chalk paint job on the doors. That's right, yep, chalkboard. And when you open the doors, you turn on the lights and you can see your air conditioning system and you notice that it's all inside conditioned space. Let's look at the second floor. Okay, lead the way. Now this bedroom was a big bedroom to begin with. There was a fireplace here. This wall didn't exist. It went all the way to the back of the house. But because this room was so big, it enabled us to put this wall right here to frame out for the new bathroom, full bathroom. That's right, gorgeous bathroom, walk-in closet, storage right here as well. And a mosaic floor that Eric and uh, Mark installed. Looks great. And this is Caroline's bedroom. It's a great space now. Remember this right. over here, Tommy? The big fireplace. Huge fireplace. Took up all this space. The chimney for this fireplace actually comes off the chimney and the fireplace when you first walk in in the entryway in the first floor. That's right. Over here, we had a family of squirrels living up here in the eaves. They're not here anymore. They're not here anymore. <laughs> and great natural light coming in. It's beautiful. The windows are great. Yeah, and we took up a bedroom. Now we have a walk-in closet and a great bathroom. Here's the master bedroom. Great space. Remember, we took out the old built-in closets here. Yep. Took out the chimney and the fireplace that was here. Get a lot of floor space. Added a deck out here with a new door and a new wall. Because this room was so big, we were able to add this wall, which gave you more space on the other side. Unbelievable walk-in closet on the other side, Tom. Yeah, right. this is great. Plenty of natural light in here. I like it when you get a window in a closet. And the built-in drawers. Built-in drawers, and you have a little nook around here with the open shelves, a lot of storage there. Tons of space. And a lot of place to hang clothes. Right. And you get a nice big soaking tub right here, and it's pretty cool because you fill this tub from the ceiling. Right, <laughs> pretty amazing. Yeah. A beautiful vanity over here, great storage. Big drawers, a lot of storage. Yeah. And underneath the floor in the shower, you've got a copper pan, so it's nice and waterproof with a beautiful glass door. And I like this wall-hung toilet in here. The nice thing about that is that you can get right under there to clean them real easy. Yep, and great natural light. Yeah, it's a beautiful space, John. Here's the beautiful office. It is beautiful. The uh, desk in this window seat storage area uh, made by a maker in Pennsylvania. Gorgeous yeah. work. Paul does some amazing work. He and his company has helped us out on a lot of different projects. Yeah, the, the detail is incredible. And then over here, this is another great detail. You see the backdrop of this bookcase is a recycled army tent. Yeah, I like that. And over here, this picture is actually an air handler. So when you turn your air conditioner on, the louver is open and it blows cool air in here. There's a great photo of the guys here. And look at it. I even have my safety glasses. On. Yep, safety first. That's inspiration for all of us, Tom. We have to inspire you, John. <laughs> Richard, you can tell the heat's on nice and toasty in right. here. There's radiant heating under every single floor in this building. And it's invisible, except if you have a thermographic camera. So now you can see the loops under the floor, the heated water's passing through. 
and it goes back and forth, back and forth in this room. And then look, there's another one right here. And you're saying everywhere, under every floor? That's right. Every room's got a thermostat, and it all leads back to the basement. So this room's changed quite a bit. Do you remember oh, when we yeah. first got here? <laughs> Very different. A really tired old boiler right here, stuck next to the ledge right here. And even that was new, right? Right. I mean, this building originally didn't have any heat at all. It was just a summer house. And now look at so it. So now it might look overwhelming, but it it's does. pretty straightforward. But it's a work of art by Kevin Bilo and his crew. This is water distribution. You've got a water meter right here, and it comes up here. Faucets, tubs, okay. showers. And, and what do you think this is? What color? <laughs> That's cold. Cold. This is hot. Uh -huh. So now in an organized way with shutoffs, it goes to every bathroom group in the building. Nice. Now over here is heat distribution. You've got manifolds strategically placed throughout the building. Here's the tubing going to the radiant. And now on this wall, we have mixing valves that will put out just the right water temperature for the tile areas wow. or the carpeted areas or the wood floor areas in the building. So these are the zones that we just saw. That's right. Thermostats come back to here. Yep. Super efficient boiler, firing just right, putting out just the right water temperature for all the loads in the building. I love that it's tucked in amongst all the old ledge. Right. We're still doing their trick. Now we can use that boiler's power to come over here and heat up this indirect hot water tank to have plenty of hot water for the faucet. Remember, we had this without insulation, and you can see how much insulation there is now. Yeah, so for domestic, right. got it. So we got these manifolds everywhere, so now the radiant will have all these zones throughout the building. But we also have a completely separate cooling system. Something they didn't have back in the right. 1890s either. Or didn't even think about it. Okay, right. so here's, here's an air handler that's right here on the first floor. You can see refrigerant lines right here, and this goes to duct work here on the first floor. But the refrigerant lines for seven different units inside the building seven. come back to here to distribution boxes like this. Now these connect to two outdoor super efficient inverter condensers outside. And what are those seven units you're talking about? Well, up in the office we've got this picture frame unit. Out in the exercise room, we've got a ceiling mounted unit that will put perfect temperature there. We've got a couple of small air handlers, and we've got yep. air handlers down here on the first floor. So that's going to make everything very comfortable, that's not right. to mention all the new insulation makes this place yeah, tight as a button. Absolutely. And it's a reminder that if you're going to insulate, you got to ventilate. you got to bring fresh air in. And particularly in this case, we've got this crazy big range hood with a stove. Oh, we had to inches. bring in fresh air and preheat it in the winter. So new plumbing mechanicals from you guys, but also Heath, our electrician, gave us some new electricity. We've got a solar array up on the roof. We've yeah. got a new generator outside. He pulled an additional 200 amp service to the house. Yeah. So everything mechanical is right. new in the entire home. It takes a lot to get a building like this ready for the next century. Good to see you. Thank you, Richard. All right. So this hallway here, Kevin, this with the barrel vaulted ceiling, it's really the intersection of the home between the front and the back. And in the back of the house, well, I mean, this used to be the kitchen. Yes, quite a transformation. You're not kidding, huh? um, As you probably remember, we had a spiral staircase over in this corner. I do. I wanted that. <laughs> and this was a huge fireplace, which we replaced with a bank of windows. I like the windows better than the brick. Much lighter. Yes. And over here was the sink wall. So this right. used to be a whole wall with the sink. With an island uh, just off of it. And on the floor, it was, what, was it green linoleum? It was this color green right here. Very nice. OK. And then in here? Right here, we've got my office, which I love. Mm -hmm. And now the kitchen. All right. Oh, and our kitchen designer. Hey, Michelle. Hey, Kevin. Hey, Molly. Welcome to your non-white kitchen. Thank you. Thank you. It's a bit bigger than the old kitchen, but not open to a big living space. You're right. And Kevin, I don't know if you remember, but this used to be a wall here. And right. we actually bumped out the wall about six feet right. to allow for this nice big picture window. That is gorgeous, being lots of light. Lots Much of light. lighter than it used to be. Which is, I don't know if you remember, but this was the dining room. Mm -hmm. And so it was very dark. There was dark wainscoting. The floor was stained very dark. So we really wanted to lighten up the space. All right. So let's take a little tour. Yes. So aside from the bold color choice, uh, we also went a little bold with the hood. I we love this hood. clad it in the same material as the countertop and the backsplash, the porcelain. And it's a very powerful hood to vent out for your induction cooktop, but also your teppanyaki cooktop, the Japanese cooking, so you don't have to wash any dishes in love pans. Love it. <laughs> Fantastic. We also incorporated the column refrigerator. Which we actually saw at the Idea House. We did. So this is all refrigerator, and your freezer Fantastic. is over here. Great. And then this is your uh, prep counter, the butcher block wood top, which uh, you're going to promise to cut on. I know. The first cut's going to be the hardest. Don't be afraid. End grain, <laughs> hardwood, you're going to be just fine. It's beautiful. Yep. And then here's your coffee bar. 
Co a place to make coffee was very important to both John and I. We both have our preferences, and so this way we can make it. Um, we've got our pull-out milk drawer right here, so we don't have to go far. Um, I also feel that countertops in general in kitchens always get cluttered, and so I love the fact that we can have our coffee. And close it up. And close it up. You can have your coffee in the breakfast room out here or out on the deck. On a beautiful day. And here's the butler's pantry, which is also the path between the kitchen and the dining room. What a space. It's beautiful. And this tall wall of storage is for your crystal and your china. And we've illuminated the interior of the cabinet with L integrated LED lighting. And then for the finish, we went with a glossier finish and a little bit darker than the kitchen finish. And as you know, John and I love to entertain, so we love this easy access to all of our dishes right into the dining room. And here, John can make a drink or you can set up food. Mm -hmm. You can get ice out of the freezer, ice. beer and water, and wine. And our wine. Mm -hmm. All right, gang's all here. All right. Charlie, you're still standing. You gave almost nine months of your life to this house. That was easy. <laughs> so any surprises? Uh, when we started renovating, started getting, opening up the walls and the floors, we found as best as in a half dozen places or so. <laughs> so that set back the budget just a little bit in the time because we had to have it properly abated. And then we started excavating for the garage. We only hit the hardest ledge in the area, and that took about three times as long. But at the end of the day, everybody worked extremely hard worked hard together the entire time, and this home is amazing. Yeah, they did, and it is. Nice it job. Is, it is amazing, and it's absolutely beautiful, but I guess I gotta ask you guys, uh, is there anything you do different? I can't think of one thing. Yeah, it's really been an awesome experience. Uh, this team has worked so well together. Uh, when you see the transformation from start to finish on the show, you get the love that they put in, you know, the passion and the attention to detail. So, Thank you. Yeah, it sounds like we have happy homeowners. Well, it's almost a wrap, but before we do, we have to say a special thank you to State Farm, who's been supporting and underwriting this show for 30 years. That's a long time. Couldn't do it without you. Could not. So for all of us here at this old house, that is a wrap. Yeah. Party, right? Yay. Nice job, guys. Well done, Charlie. Well done. Well done.